Good afternoon, y'all. <clears throat> it is uh, Thursday. Thursday afternoon. And I'm just lighting up some uh, Cornell and Deal's apricot and cream. Now, Peterson Aaron. Washing it down with a Miller High Life. After doing a bit of writing on the infield. I said that I would do a review, 12,000 mile view proper one. I went out and filmed it today. I decided to redo it because I wouldn't want to watch it. Riding up and riding back, that was cool. But me sitting, my old fat, my old fat bald eyes sitting there talking about it. In one of my writing t-shirts not attractive at all anyways so I want to tell you about it. I'll tell you about all the things that went wrong with the bike the problems or aggravations that I had with it. I'll tell you about the rest of it first thing 800 miles into it The dash, speedo, that whole dash bit went dead. Dead as door now. Couldn't tell if you neutral. Speedo wouldn't work. Nothing's working. I called up. And uh, they took care of it. Warranty wiped that right out. The only problem with that was that when they put the new one in, they didn't reset it to the original 800 and change miles. But apparently that's what they're doing with all of them. Um, one of the other gentlemen who rides the Classic 350 in England, Mr. Stewart, mentioned that same, that same problem. And it's, it's not all of them. Um, it's a hit and miss. I think probably maybe a small, this is not a major, nothing that you recall or anything like that. Um, and it's simple, you know, it happens, apparently it's happening under a thousand miles. If you're going to have that problem, and it's probably, it's only in this model. And it's most likely just in the early models, because they were having a, uh, a Problem getting chips for the trip meter, which these, these ones don't have, so that I might be part of it. Okay, when it came time for when it came time for replacing the back tire, the tires that came with the bike, good tires, they're hard. They're hard tires, but they're really good. Had really good all terrain kind of grab to them. I liked them. Uh, the back tire, when it started to go out, it started to go out real quick. I suddenly had that belt showing. I'm like, damn. Um, I've always changed my tires for them. So I brought it in, and suddenly they couldn't get. They couldn't get that back tire. That, that brand, that model of tire that the bike came with, they couldn't get it here in the States. So, we started looking around. The, 
because of the odd size of the front tire, getting a matched pair of tires was a bit of a bit of a hassle. So I told him to start looking at um, knobbies, not heavy knobbies, but ATV knobbies. And we wanted to get the tires that it's got on it now, which work beautiful. Took a bike that was very stable to begin with and made it ultra stable. That is one stable, tough ass little bike now. Anyways. Those are minor inconveniences. The only real bitch I got about the bike is the sight glass to check the oil. Doesn't have a dipstick. The only dipstick that bike's got is one ride in it. Um, and the sight glass works until your oil starts getting really good and dark and dirty. And you have to be a worn out arthritic fat old fart. Um, we got to go down, basically down on your belly almost to see it, to look at it a level, you know. Um, that's just minor inconvenience minor inconvenience. The servicing at 12,000, the reason you want 12,000. When I had it serviced at 6,000 miles, get it every 3,000 miles, I asked them, when's the next time we'll service it? The guy at the counter said, come in at 12000 Well, I did. The bike was running, as you heard it, in that um, that ride we went on, a couple of rides we went on, prior to me bringing in. It was riding a bit, a bit rougher. Um, didn't have quite the sound. It didn't have the, it had lost horsepower. And that oil was dark as shit. That synthetic oil, 6,000 miles is doable, not recommendable. So when I bring it in the next time, it's going to be at 15,000, so every 3,000 miles. That's if I'm here that long. Hopefully by the time that bike needs 15,000 miles, I'll have long been in the Philippines on my next infield. As the bike gets older, as you get more miles in the bike, the motor breaks in more, it loosens up. It does, it does improve dramatically. The sound, the feel, the motor just comes comes into its own, it gets its own personality. It's old and thump, as it were. Now, as far as accessories, the only real accessories I've put on that bike, the only things I've changed, factor accessories has been, I put a, I took the back seat off and I put a, um, I put a touring seat on the front. Put the touring pegs on it. I got the fishtail on the tail on the tailpipe. I got that off of Amazon. That was that was a simple, easy thing to do. And um, the ready jingling stickers on the or the air filters rack. Right. The tires. That's it. Now, as far as handling, riding, route here in rural America, bike is perfect. Perfectly said, especially if you live in hilly rural areas with um, with lots of spaghetti roads. Bike's perfect for Deal's Gap, you know, for, for the Dragon's Tail. We've got a place around here called the Rattlesnake. Um, 
I haven't taken it on that yet. It's down by Winchester, Kentucky. Hold on a minute. Yep. So, right, hey, Wallace, Wally, Walter, where are you going? Where are you going? Right down. I would highly recommend it. Um, I'm kind of getting the feelings the majority of the people. Walter, come here. Come on. Out of the road. I'm getting the feeling most of the people in the U.S. that buy them aren't really riding. But if they are, they ain't riding them much. There's no bike. You know, it's a 350. People who, like um, a couple people in Britain, they're leaving the peeling seat on. They're putting panniers on it. They're throwing peelings on, their old ladies on. And they're touring, touring in Europe. I would call that a touring bike. Sure. Why not? I mean, unless you, your idea of touring is getting on I-75, I-95, or one of those interstates, and cranking up to about 80, 100 mile an hour and just blow out, blow and blow it. That's not touring. That's hauling ass from point A to point B. Touring is is going along down roads you've never been, going from point A to point B in an adventuristic way to see new things and experience. That's touring. Touring is to tour, to see, to find out. It's a good bike to do it for a single person or someone on the back. Unless you weigh like 500 pounds. And I'm not fat shaming. I'm showing what the bike can't handle. Ross, come on. Got to keep an eye on my dogs. Um, but no, I make a great touring bike. Um, throw some knobbies and like I got uh, something else to put. I put a, uh, a skid plate on it. You know, because I go up and down gravel roads, dirt roads, stuff like that. Voila, an adventure tour. But no, it's, I cannot recommend that bike enough. Now, if you're, I'm five foot eight. I'm five foot eight, 245 pounds as of last week. I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to get down to be built. Um, but the bike does me good. You know, it, but it, it, I don't worry about what I look like on it because it's not an accessory. I'm not trying to impress anybody. You know, I ride for me. But the bike fits me good. Like I said, I'm five foot eight. Um, I've got an inseam of 30 inches. The bike height seat height of seat height with the factory seat is 31 inches. So it's tall for 350. You know, short this way, tall that way. It's around four. It's around 400. Excuse me. It's around 400 pounds. But it handles. It's well balanced, very well balanced. So, like I said, I, I highly recommend the bike. Um, I'm happy as a as a pig in squalor with it at twelve thousand miles. And most, I've been looking on uh, not on eBay but a marketplace, and I'm seeing bikes from the from the seventies and eighties with. 12,000, 15,000, 20,000, 8,000 miles on them. And that bike's a year and a half because you already got 12. So it will, this dog will hunt. It will do. So, anyway, so that's all I got for you today. I'm going to try and see if I can do some editing and put the writing scenes from the video I originally filmed today on this one. If not, well, then you know they're not there. All right. Y'all take care. Stay smoky, my friends.